Today we're going to learn how to crack a code. In 10 minutes, I'm gonna give you the keys to introspecting and going deep within basic patterns in nature. So it's called the multiplication table, modulus nine. Mod nine means we're only looking at the numbers from one to nine, but I'm only gonna explore the one times table. We could look at the two times table, three times table, and we're gonna get a beautiful pattern that's about re-entering it. So if we're gonna start from point A, we're gonna get a pattern and come back. But I just wanna show you the inspiration for this code cracking came from the Language of Pattern by Keith Alban. And you can see here that this was done in 1973 and they're exploring the Vedic square. We're gonna look at one, two, one to nine, but the two times table goes two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine. So we can explore all these rows. But today we're gonna to look at all the ones. We're gonna start one times table. And from this pattern, he decided not just to connect all the ones and the twos and the threes, but these students, they decided to start from one, two, three, four. They started doing spiral patterns with the basic numbers and they were exploring consciousness. And here they did it on a hexagonal grid. Instead of doing 90 degree turns, they looked at the times table and they did 60 degree turns. So this is all done 50 years ago. And um, not even knowing about this book, I did my first book about um, 20 years ago. I wrote the first book specifically on digital compression because I've been doing this since I left high school. So I'm really proud of this book on digital compression. And it's all handwritten. We're looking at the, the same stuff. We're going to look at the one to, one to nine, okay? What, there's a whole universe of information in there. And many other authors have lately, in the, this, this book was The Mystery of Numbers by Talal Ganam. And he also um, did, he took that pattern that uh, Keith Alban did, this one here. But what, what's happening is a lot of people are using this stuff and they're not acknowledging the source. So we know that this stuff is ancient, it's universal knowledge, but I'm like a watchdog. I just want to know that we always acknowledge and give credit to the people. And these students, the language of pattern that was done 50 years ago, they got their information from their master called Keith Critchlow. He's, he's, he died this year on Islamic pattern. So look at, this is the book that inspired me in my 20s. So golden ratio, enneagrams, um, beautiful architecture. He was an architect and he was patroned by Prince Charles of the UK. And he built all these temples um, in, in London and India. So this is mastery. This is such beautiful knowledge, full of magic squares. So I'm proud to say that I'm here to give credit to all the masters before us so that we can continue to crack more codes and go deeper into the mystery of numbers. So what I'm going to do is that we're just going to take the one times table. We're going to start, I've created a 17 by 17 graph paper. If you counted one, two, three, this is called the top left. And this is the bottom left here. We've got the bottom right and we've got the top right. So I need to know where to start from. So I've this whole grid is 289 little units. Just remember that number 289 because we're going to crack some codes. I'm going to start from point A. I've already worked out that A from this corner is four across one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine up. So starting from here, the rule is I move, I start to the right, there's one. Now I go to two. I'm always going clockwise, three, four, I'm just following the one times table mod nine. So now I go to five and now I go to six and now I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's the seven. Now you can, there's eight over here. I've already put a little dot there. So I know that I just go straight up to eight and there's nine here. So you can see that I've already marked B that we started from A, but we got to point B and nothing happened. So we're looking for symmetry. We're looking, we're pattern hunters. So, so nothing happened here. So I thought, well, we need to keep on going. Just keep on going. So the rule is we, we keep going one to nine, one to nine. So I'm, I'm going to start back here. One, the 90 degree turn. Remember one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You've got to check one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, and eight is 
there's eight. And let's see where nine is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I marked C. That point C was pre-marked so that I know that I was on the right spot. So let's keep going. So that's C. So 90 degrees is one, two, three, four, five, six. I know I'm going to end on the end seven because I've made this boundary to fit exactly this pattern, seven. So there's eight. And I predicted, I knew that I was going to end up at point D. So we're almost there, but I'm just going to keep going because we want to analyze this. So now we still have no meaning. It's just a meandering pathway. So I'm going to keep going. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know I'm going to hit the edge of seven and eight is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's the eight. Now let's have a look at nine. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, watch this. I come back to where I started from. So now we can go, aha, this is not the actual, the main epiphany. This is just like the first inspiration. Inspire means to breathe in. So when I realized, oh, after four turns, after four cycles of nine, I got back to where I started from. That could be symbolic. The numbers one to nine have a four rotations or four cycles, or like a trinity, the one in the three. Here we have one relating to four turns to come back to where we started from. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze, if I was to shade in all of this area here, the boundary, if I was to add up all this um, shaded bit here, add it all up, I'll, I'll, I'll just grab another board to show you. So when we want to crack a code, we need to know, we need to know that the sum of the whole frame was 289. That was 17 by 17 on my graph paper. The area of the pattern that I just shaded in, if you add it all up, is 209. It's 209. But the difference between the difference between the pattern here and what's left over in the corners, we'll call them the empty cells, they were 80. So we've got enough information now to say, okay, from this meandering pattern, we had three distinct numbers 289 209 80 and at this point because we're cracking a code we can do lots and lots of divisions and multiplications and square areas and perimeters and we still don't get anything so this is what the part of cracking a code is being patient and we know we're looking for a mathematical gem so we have to do with three numbers if you have three colors how many different ways can you organize three colors it's called three factorial three factorial means one times two times three. So we have six divisions, the six ways of saying, I take those three numbers, so we can go 209 divided by 289. You get your calculator out and it says, oh, the answer is 0.723. And you say, well, does that ring a bell? Is it a harmonic number? Does it relate to a cubit or a pyramid angle? No, so there's nothing there. Then I can, do the reciprocal of that, I can say, well, what's 289? I'm reversing the fraction divided by 209. You get 1.382. And is that an important number? I can say, no, it doesn't um, ring a bell. But I can keep going on. But where the bell rings is when I get to 80 here, 80 divided by the 209. So that means the number of empty spaces divided by the, the number of cells in the pattern, which is this one here. So when we when we look at the these eight, there's 80 cells in the corners that are empty, but when we add up all that here inside, there's 209. So we're going to look at the ratio of empty to full, and the answer is 0 0.382. 0 0.382 is called the reciprocal of phi. So now we found that the pattern is based a hidden secret on the golden ratio which permeates everything i know we found a pattern in the code
Thank you.